Aloha Cancer, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your spirit messages for November 2020. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Please do like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button, leave me a message. All those things help my channel to grow and expand. And if you would like a private reading or an energy clearing session, please do book that on my website at www.thewhisperingdragonfly.com. Aloha Cancer, this is Stephanie with The Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your spirit messages and general reading for November 2020. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Um, so you can cross watch your moon and rising sign to get the full picture of what it is, um, what the messages are for you for your month of November, okay? So take what resonates, if it doesn't, that's okay. Um, and please do like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button. All those things help my channel to grow and expand. And uh, if you'd like to do a private reading with me or an energy healing and clearing process or trapped emotion release, you just go to my website, www.thewhisperingdragonfly.com. And all of those um, website link is in the description box below. Okay, let's get to your reading answer. Lady Venus. Okay. It says downloads and understanding. Truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. Okay, beautiful. So, yeah. Okay, Cancer. So, let's get your um, tarot here. But this is a beautiful month, so November is really going to be helping um, to show you big truths and deep insights that I feel like even if you weren't consciously aware that you were asking for, that you are asking for. Um, as a collective, we are all going through a portal and leveling up, um, especially... Um, during the time of Halloween, so that's the second full moon of October through uh, the 1111 portal. And so this is what would be akin to Phoenix rising energy, okay? So we're all going through that process and then your um, specific process month of November is downloads and understanding, okay? So Lady Venus is gonna help you. Lady Venus is in charge of things of beauty. She's in charge of relationship she's in charge of home you know like like the beautiful things that we have in our in our life okay all right and for cancer here okay one two okay so right off the bat we have four of water we have ace of water We have Queen of Earth. Okay. We have Three of Earth. All right. And then we've got Messenger of Earth. And Six of Air. Okay. So I feel like, um, in general, with it being Earth and Water, so it could be other water signs um, involved here. So this is um, Cancer, um, excuse me, Scorpio and, um, ah, sorry, I got some on my eye. There we go. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, okay? And then Earth, we've got Taurus, um, Virgo, and Capricorn. Okay, so you could have been dealing in that arena. I feel like you're getting understanding from past relationships we have four of water, which, and the ace of water. So I feel like there is cancer, um, uh, a need and a want f to um, get clear in your emotional body, okay? So this could have to do with love and romance relationship or just where you are in your emotions about your life and where you are moving forwards. Because with all the earth signs, it could also be having to do with your work and with your life. But you're looking at, the 
the cups that have already spilled out and it's like um, rather than looking at how life can be with the cup that you already have or the one that is offering their um, heart to you okay this has a lot to do with emotions so I feel like you're using this early time of retrograde in early November to really look into and release the old emotions from the past because you're really looking to um, mature and level up in your emotional body. Um, for some of you, you may even have new offer of love that comes in with this Ace of Water, but I really feel like there's a maturing process that's happening in your emotional body. Um, I feel like we have Queen of Earth here and the Three of Earth with the Messenger, okay? So I feel like um, Earth is pentacles or coins energy, also diamonds. This has to do with your values and currency. So I feel like the downloads that you're getting in the month of November are going to level you up in your values. The Queen of Earth is on her game. She's the philanthropist. She's the one who is... Um, able to deal with her emotions in a mature way as well as deal with the community okay three of earth you're going to be working in tandem with other people I feel like there's resolution and a new cycle that's coming in three is conception so I feel like there's new ideas and new values that are being birthed um, you may also have a, a message here those of you that are looking for a job, it looks pretty good that you might get a call back from an interview or a thing that you thought maybe um, wasn't going to work out for you. Um, this is being recorded um, during the, um, the global pandemic. And so it's possible that for many of you, uh, you had like a, a job that you were looking for pre-pandemic and thought that you were going to have it and then everything shut down and you kind of gave up on that particular um, you gave up on that particular dream and you may be getting a call back um, to with a job offer or an offer in that regard okay for some of you you may be speaking over with a, um, a partner who was an earth sign okay you may be hearing from someone who's gonna help you get the understanding that you need okay um, for many of you, you're going to be having dreams and other things that are going to help you to integrate this new change. Um, what I'm seeing is that you're leveling up, Cancer, in your maturity. You're leveling up in your, um, in your uh, emotional understanding, your emotional intelligence. Um, end of your reading here is Six of Air. I do feel like many of you are... Um, coming out of a time, yeah, because we have seven of fire here, you're coming out of a, a time of being in your head, learning to balance your thoughts, learning what are you actually passionate about, learning um, spiritual lessons. I feel like many of you have been on um, a bit of a spiritual journey and um, your thoughts kind of get away from you from time to time, okay? Um, and what Spirit's saying is they're going to really help you in November to focus, to have that emotional maturity so that you are in your power and that you're in your own um, emotional center, okay? That you're going to get understanding of why maybe those past things that you were in love with, whether this be a person or a job or uh, a project you're working on that didn't quite work out. It's going to show why that didn't work out, okay? Um, it, it's going to show how you can be different now, okay? Um, how you can handle yourself in a more mature way in your dealings, in your relationships, and, um, and um, business relationships uh, moving forward, okay? Um, I do feel like you've been caught up in your head and you're learning to balance your thoughts. These downloads and understandings are going to really help you to come into balance with yourself. Um, I do feel like for some of you, there may be um, a decent amount of money coming in. Um, for some of you, there's love coming in. You just have some offers that are, um, that are wanting to reveal themselves. Um, so just really pay attention to your dreams 
and um, pay attention to what it is that you're passionate about and what you think is the right path for you because there's no wrong path. So um, this is really saying, hey, go where your heart's desire is. Go where you feel the best, okay? And really get out of your head. Um, there's been quite a bit of overthinking, um, quite a bit of um, trying to figure out where to place your passions. It's like you haven't known what to do with certain energy and this Lady Venus energy is really going to help you to understand and to get the insights that you need to move forward, um, whether that be to a new relationship, new job, or new uh, balance within yourself. All of those things are possible in this time. Okay, um, advice from spirit is star seed. Okay, you are a star seed. They're acknowledging, hey, you're a higher frequency being. Okay, and it says, what lights you up? So it doesn't do anything for yourself or the world to sit in suffering or negative thinking or complaining. Okay, so this is saying you're a star seed. So what lights you up? What things bring you joy? What things make you feel great? Okay, and then we have break the chain. And this is um, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Okay, so that goes along with what you're doing to get out of your head. And you being a star seed, changing those ancestral patterns is really important. And, and the way that you do that is to go for what makes you light up, what makes your heart feel good. Okay, and it may not resonate with your family members or it may not resonate with how traditionally it's always been done in your ancestral line and that's not your path your path is um, rewriting the future your path is you get to write your own story cancer okay and so this is um, breaking the the bonds of the ancestral past and these downloads and understanding are going to help you know where to place your passions where to take the leap where to move forward with that okay so this looks really really good i feel like you're going to be getting clarity and deep understanding on some things that have eluded you for quite some time and it's really going to be a breath of fresh air for you um, but really pay attention to the messages for those of you um, that are looking for a job or you know um, had some projects that you were wanting to do that's very possible that that's going you'll get that message some of you may hear from um, an old love or because um, these are clarifying each other so you might hear from um, a lover or be offered um, a love or something that's really going to make your heart sing okay so thank you so much, Cancer. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. These are your general messages for the month of November. And until next time, aloha.